What if I told you that something most farmers throw away or burn could be the key to cutting your feed costs by up to 40% while actually improving your cattle's weight gain? Sounds impossible, right? Well, a rancher in Georgia stumbled upon this by accident, and what happened next shocked even the veterinarians who came to investigate his herd. Let me share something with you that's going to change the way you think about cattle nutrition forever. We're talking about peanut hulls. Yes, those are brown, papery shells that get discarded by the millions of tons every single year. And the results farmers are seeing? They're nothing short of extraordinary. But here's where it gets interesting, and this is something you absolutely need to hear before you make your next feed purchase. For decades, peanut hulls were considered agricultural waste. Farmers who grew peanuts saw them as a disposal problem, not an opportunity. They'd burn them, bury them, or pay to have them hauled away. Meanwhile, cattle producers were spending a fortune on traditional feeds, completely unaware that a high-fiber, low-cost alternative was sitting right there, waiting to be used. Now, you might be wondering what exactly makes peanut hull special. Let's break this down in a way that makes sense for your operation, whether you're running 10 head or 1,000. Peanut hulls contain approximately 8 to 9% crude protein, which admittedly isn't as high as some concentrate feeds. But, and this is crucial, they're incredibly rich in fiber, specifically the kind of fiber that promotes healthy rumen function. We're talking about 60 to 65% neutral detergent fiber. This creates a unique situation in the cow's digestive system that actually optimizes the breakdown of other feeds in the ration. Think of it this way, your cattle's rumen is like a fermentation tank. It needs the right balance of materials to work efficiently. Too much rich feed without enough fiber? You get acidosis, bloat, and a whole list of expensive problems. But when you introduce peanut hulls into the mix, something remarkable happens. The high fiber content slows down the passage rate of feed through the rumen. This means your cattle extract more nutrients from everything they're eating. It's like turning your cows into more efficient machines, without any drugs, without any risky supplements, just smart nutrition. But here's what nobody tells you, and this is where most ranchers make their first critical mistake. You can't just dump peanut hulls into your feeding program and expect magic. The rancher I mentioned earlier, the one from Georgia, in his first month, he actually saw his cattle lose weight. He was ready to give up entirely. He thought he'd been sold a myth. Then he spoke with a livestock nutritionist who explained what he was doing wrong, and everything turned around. Are you making notes? Because what I'm about to share could save you weeks of frustration and potentially thousands of dollars. Peanut hulls need to be introduced gradually. Your cattle's rumen bacteria need time to adapt to this new fiber source. Start with no more than 10 to 15% of the total dry matter intake. Over the course of two to three weeks, you can gradually increase this to 30, even 40% in some finishing rations. Rush this process and you'll see reduced intake, poor weight gain, and you might mistakenly conclude that peanut hulls don't work. They work, but only if you respect the biology of your animals. Now, let's talk about the unexpected results that have researchers and experienced ranchers equally amazed. First, weight gain. When properly incorporated into a balanced ration, cattle on peanut hull supplemented diets have shown average daily gains comparable to conventional feeds. But here's the kicker, at a fraction of the cost. We're seeing reports of 2.2 to 2.8 pounds per day in finishing steers. That's not just competitive, that's exceptional given the cost savings. Second, and this surprised everyone, hoof health. Multiple operations have reported improvements in hoof condition after switching to rations containing peanut hulls. The theory is that the fiber content promotes better overall gut health, which translates to better nutrient absorption, including minerals critical for hoof integrity. Third, and this is my favorite, carcass quality. Cattle finished on peanut hull rations are producing excellent marbling scores. The slower, more consistent energy release appears to promote more even fat distribution throughout the muscle tissue. But wait, there's something else you need to know, and honestly, this could be the difference between success and failure with this approach. If you're already finding this valuable, do me a favor, 
tap that subscribe button right now for Biggest Bulls and Cow. We're building a community of ranchers who are serious about improving their operations with real, tested information. Don't miss out on what's coming next in this video because we're about to dive into the mistakes that can completely sabotage your results. All right, let's talk about what can go wrong because knowing these pitfalls will save you time, money, and a whole lot of headaches. Mistake number one, using moldy or contaminated hulls. Peanut hulls can harbor aflatoxins if they've been stored improperly. This is non-negotiable. You must source your hulls from reputable suppliers who test for mycotoxins. Aflatoxin contamination can devastate your herd and make the meat unsafe. Always, always ask for test results before you buy. Mistake number two, failing to supplement properly. Peanut hulls are low in protein and certain minerals. You cannot use them as a complete feed. You must balance the ration with adequate protein sources, think cottonseed meal, soybean meal, or distiller's grains, and ensure proper mineral supplementation, especially phosphorus, which is quite low in peanut hulls. Mistake number three, and I see this all the time, poor storage. Peanut hulls are hygroscopic, meaning they absorb moisture from the air. Wet hulls will mold within days. You need dry, covered storage with good air circulation. Some ranchers have lost entire loads because they left them exposed to rain. Mistake number four, ignoring palatability issues initially. Some cattle take to peanut hulls immediately, others are hesitant. Mixing them with molasses or incorporating them into a total mixed ration can dramatically improve acceptance, especially in the adaptation phase. Now, let me give you the practical framework for implementing this on your operation, whether you're a small family farm or a commercial feedlot. Step 1. Source quality hulls. Contact peanut processing facilities in your region. Many are thrilled to sell what they once considered waste. Prices vary, but you should be looking at somewhere between $20 to $50 per ton depending on your location and quantity. Compare that to traditional feed costs and you'll immediately see the financial opportunity. Step 2. Get a nutritional analysis. Not all peanut hulls are identical. Composition can vary based on peanut variety, processing methods, and storage conditions. Spend the money on a proper feed analysis. It'll cost you around $30 to $50, but it's essential for formulating an accurate ration. Step 3. Work with a nutritionist or use reliable ration formulation software. This isn't the place to guess. Your target is a balanced diet that meets your cattle's energy, protein, mineral, and vitamin requirements while maximizing the economic benefit of the hulls. Step 4. Start small. If you're uncertain, begin with a test group. 20 or 30 head will give you real-world data on your specific operation without risking your entire herd. Monitor weight gains carefully, track feed intake, and watch for any health issues. Step 5. Scale gradually. Once you've validated the approach and refined your ration, you can confidently expand. Document everything. Your records will become invaluable for fine-tuning the program season after season. Here's something fascinating that emerged from operations that have been doing this for five plus years. They've found that peanut hulls work exceptionally well in combination with corn silage or other forages. The roughage content of the hulls complements the energy density of the silage, creating a synergistic effect that promotes consistent, healthy growth without the metabolic stress of high-grain diets. One rancher in Alabama reported that his veterinary costs dropped by 30% after switching to a peanut hull-based ration. Fewer cases of acidosis, less bloat, better overall herd health. That's not just about the feed, that's about understanding how nutrition impacts every aspect of your operation. Are you starting to see the possibilities here? Can you imagine what cutting your feed costs by 30 or 40% would mean for your bottom line? What would you do with that extra money? Expand your herd? Improve your facilities? Actually take a vacation for once? But let me be crystal clear about something, because I don't want you to walk away with unrealistic expectations. Peanut hulls are not a magic bullet. They're a tool, a very effective tool when used correctly, but they require management, planning, and attention to detail. If you're someone who just throws feed over the fence and hopes for the best, this probably isn't for you. But if you're a thoughtful producer who's willing to learn, adapt, and optimize, then this could absolutely transform your operation. 
let me share one final insight that ties all of this together. The most successful operations using peanut holes aren't just thinking about cost savings. They're thinking about sustainability, about building resilient systems that don't depend entirely on expensive commercial feeds that fluctuate wildly in price. They're thinking about soil health, because cattle on high-fiber diets produce manure that's exceptional for pasture fertility. They're thinking long-term. And that's exactly the mindset that separates thriving ranches from those that are just surviving. So here's what I want you to do right now. First, subscribe to Biggest Bulls and Cow if you haven't already. We're here every week with information that actually matters to your operation, not theory, not fluff, but real, actionable content from people who live this life. Second, drop a comment below. Tell me, are you currently using any alternative feeds in your operation? Have you tried peanut hulls? What's been your experience? Let's learn from each other, because that's how we all get better. And third, share this video with another rancher who needs to see it. Someone in your area who's struggling with feed costs, who's looking for solutions. Be that person who helps your community get stronger. We're all in this together, working to produce quality beef sustainably and profitably. Every piece of knowledge you gain, every improvement you make, it matters. Not just for your operation, but for the entire industry. So thank you for watching. Thank you for being part of this community. And I'll see you in the next video, where we're diving into something equally powerful for your cattle operation. Until then, keep learning, keep improving, and keep raising the best cattle you possibly can.